Sony has released not just one but three variants of the Xperia Z5 this year. Aside from the usual 5.2 inch Z5, they also have the smaller Z5 Compact at 4.6 inches and the bigger 5.5 inch Z5 Premium which is dubbed as the world's first 4K smartphone. Aside from the differences in display sizes, all three have almost the same internal hardware configurations powered by a Snapdragon 810 chip. The Z5 takes the same design signature as the previous Xperia Z series phones. But if you think they could not make it any better, Sony added a few more refinements to this year's flagship smartphone. It is thin at only 7.3mm on the side with a matte polished metallic frame that retains the same IP68 rating for dust and water resistance of up to 1.5 meters and for as long as 30 minutes at a time. The Z5 also features the same back-to-back -back glass design, but only this time they used frosted glass at the back to give it that refined look and smooth texture that is not as slippery and a smudge magnet as the glossy finish of the older models. The result is an elegant look that's both functional and beautiful. The single waterproof flap on the left side protects the nano SIM card and the micro SD card trays. The right side is where the volume rocker is, as well as a dedicated camera shutter in that signature power button that also doubles as a fingerprint scanner. Up top is a 3.5mm port which is exposed but also water resistant, that also includes the two front facing speakers. Sony did a good job at making the large power button on the right as a fingerprint scanner. This works well when you're holding the device with your right hand and your thumb is pressing against the power button comfortably. However, it will not work comfortably if you're holding the phone with your left hand. Although, if you're a lefty, you can actually still use your middle finger and register it with a scanner as that's the most accessible to the button. The scanner is pretty accurate and fast though you will need some time to get the hang of it. The phone allows you to register up to 5 different fingerprints. The 23 megapixel rear camera has face detection autofocus which is really fast and can record videos up to 2160p at 30fps or do some slow-mo shots at 720p with 120fps. Sony also boasts of a 0.3 second autofocusing capability. Photos look great as well as the videos, all crisp and clear. Same goes with the stereo speakers at the front, they're very loud and very crisp. The Snapdragon 810 processor paired with 3GB of RAM did wonders for the performance of the Z5. Even our initial Antutu benchmarks gave it a top score of over 59,000. This makes the overall experience smooth and fluid, even with multitasking and playing graphics-intensive games. What we noticed though is that the device tends to get warm pretty quickly, though it's nothing near uncomfortable levels. The Z5 comes with 32GB of internal storage but with only 21GB of it is usable. However, that can be extended up to 200GB by the micro SD card expansion slot. With a built-in battery of 2900mA, we're expecting pretty good battery life in our tests. The Z5 also features Quick Charge 2.0 which can boost charging up to 60% in just 30 minutes. Overall, Sony made really great improvements with the Xperia Z5. It's gorgeous, powerful, and has great camera with water resistance to boot. The Z5 is available in white, graphic black, gold, and green, and retails for 35990 Watch out for our full review coming soon on NugaTech.com. For the meantime, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash or follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Just search for NugaTech.